Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from thomasfitzgeraldphotography.com and today I wanted to show you something kind of cool. Now, you may have seen this before, uh, you may have tried it yourself, uh, or you may not. Um, it's one of those things that it's kind of there, but not that many people probably actually use. But it's a really useful feature. Now, um, what am I talking about? Well, I'm in Apple's Photos app, and one of the features they added was uh, image recognition in the, the latest version of Photos that comes with um, Sierra. At least, I think it was Sierra uh, that it was added. So basically... Behind the scenes, uh, Photos goes and analyzes your images and looks for features in it, and it's then able to tell you, um, or you're able to search for things that you may not have actually entered keywords for. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to show you some things. Um, I was trying this out recently, and it's actually really cool. Um, it's a pity that, that, that you can't make use of this in some other way. Like, for example, automatically keywording your images. I'd love to see something like that in, say, Lightroom, for example. So uh, let me just go show you a few things, right? So I'm going to just type, start searching for say, innocuous items. So say, let's say car, for example. And if I search by car, up comes loads of pictures of cars. Now, it does get confused sometimes, but even so, that's pretty good. All things considered, like I haven't entered keywords for any of these. These, this, there's little or no keywording going on in this library, and yet somehow that's able to tell, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, let's try something else. So let's say something a bit more obscure. So uh, building. Okay, building's not obscure, but and here we have some buildings. <laughs> Again, it's not perfect, but it's still, it's picking up buildings. <laughs> it knows that's buildings. Um, so let's say... Christmas tree. I was able to pick out pictures of Christmas tree. Again, I haven't keyworded these, this isn't based off titles or anything like that, it's just, it knows there's Christmas trees in the image. Uh, let's try something... Boat. I was able to pick up boats. Sometimes it gets confused, uh, and it'll pick something similar, but again, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. At least in my opinion. Um, people? I'm actually surprised I didn't pick up more than that now. I guess it's looking for crowds of people. Let's see what happens if I try crowd. Okay, it doesn't like that. Um, let me see. Let's try colors. So, hmm, doesn't like that. See, normally it comes up as a category, so. Um, travel. No, doesn't like that either. So like I said, there's some limitations to it, um, but even so, it's still pretty good. Let's try window. It kind of works better with like general things like objects and stuff like that and uh, do yeah so there's lots of pictures of windows <laughs> let's try flowers pictures of flowers yeah so i mean it's not perfect but the technology is still pretty impressive and uh i think yeah, we're certainly going in the right direction here. In a few years, you won't need to enter keywords anymore, which I'm sure every photographer will be delighted about because it's a pain. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's just try one more. River. River. Uh, 
Oh, it's picking up pictures of rivers. You even managed to pick up this picture of the Thames. Considering you couldn't do this even a few years ago, that's pretty impressive. Okay, technically that's a canal, but we let it away with that. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just thought this was interesting and thought it might make a, a little interesting video. So um, there you go. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, talk to you again soon.